Hello YouTube, this is Bubs Comics coming at you with an X-Men haul. Uh, all these books, let me go through them real quick. Uh, yep, all these books come from the Peddler's Mall. So it's a dollar haul from the Peddler's Mall, y'all. But there's a little bit of catch. And the catch is that some of them were only 75 cents. Boom shakalaka! Alright, here's the first one. We got X-Men number two. Of course, it's classic X-Men number two. I really like the way that they did the classic X-Men storylines. Uh, basically, they are reprintings of original um, Uncanny X-Men line. And then they kind of take everything. I think it starts off with X-Men 94, uh, the new team. And it basically follows the new team. And uh, just takes their best stories and kind of runs them together. And usually you get kind of one or two storylines or one or two books per classic X-Men. So it's pretty cool and it kind of cuts out some of the filler issues in between and just gets to the meat and potatoes of the, of the best storylines of the new team of the X-Men. So glad to have that one. And this is the lowest numbered one I have. They start getting a little pricey. The one through ten gets a little, gets a little up there for more than I want to spend for a reprint. But I do like these reprints in particular, and also the back covers have some great artwork on them. Um, John Bolton artwork, a lot of them too, very nice. Here's X-Men versus Dracula, uh, number one. There is no number two, so basically it's a one-shot. Uh, Mutants versus Monsters, pretty cool. Uh, you know, if you can't tell by the cover, you know Storm kind of becomes a, um, a demon for for Dracula. Actually, I think even prior to this story, she already is one, so uh, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool story. Uh, here is the Essential X-Men number 57. Here's another one of my Pence comics, so glad to have this one. Marvel Collector's Edition. So I pulled out, I found a little honey hole of UK comics, and this was in there. It wasn't the best condition one. It's got some big breaks, but these have like three stories in them, so that's pretty cool. And this was the only X-Men one that they had, but they had several others that were of, uh, you know, Avengers and a lot of Avengers ones. And it was really cool. Glad to have it. I just thought it was super cool to have the... Plus, for 75 cents, you can't hardly turn down um, three stories for 75 cents. So it was pretty cool. Glad to have that. Uh, here is X-Men versus the Avengers. This is number three. This is the only one I was missing, so now I have the full four-issue set. Uh, picked them all up for a dollar or less in this case. So very happy to have those. Again, most of these books are not big dollar books or anything like that, but for a dollar, they're pretty good books. <laughs> uh, here's Uncanny X-Men number 200. Always like to have the um, Centennial issues, so glad to have number 200 there. Uh, double size issue, pretty good storyline in there, so glad to have that. Uh, here's X-Men, Uncanny X-Men 214. So there's some some definite Wolverine covers in there. Uh, 212, 213, I think is one of the major battles with Sabretooth uh, in the X-Men book. So I'm pretty happy to have those. So it looks like I have everything from like 211 or so up to the 220. So that's pretty cool to have that. I'm excited about that. Here's in that, keeping in that line, here's number 216. Uh, Uncanny X-Men 216, pretty cool. And here is Uncanny X-Men 223. So happy to have all that. To me, that's just a real classic cover. I love the look of the snake's eyes. That's just really cool looking. I, I just love that cover. And then uh, here is Age of Apocalypse number four. So I already have one of these. I think I have number three. And I didn't care for the way that they did uh, her face. Or uh, that's the White Queen, of course. Um, and I didn't care for the way that they had done the, the, the drawing of her. But I think this one looks pretty good. I think they did a good job on this one. So I'm going to give it a shot. I don't think there's too many in this run. So I'll probably collect each of those. So there you go. That's it. That's my quick little uh, X-Men dollar haul, y'all, from the Peddler's Mall haul, y'all. And, <laughs> and it's about, uh, and a lot of them were only 75 cents. So I was real happy to get those and, uh, you know, beef up my little portion of X-Men collection. So. Uh, thank you all for watching, and when you get done uh, watching this video and whatever other video you, you've got in your watch list sitting there collecting mold, migrating mold for the last three weeks, 
uh, go ahead and read a comment. Thanks. Bye.